Well, summer's here, and if you're ready for it, our consumer reporter has some summer stunts for you to try. We're going to switch live now to Randy Ripplinger, who's about to jump from an airplane at 10,000 feet. Have you ever done this before, Randy? Well, this is my first time at attempting to skydive out of an airplane, believe it or not. But I do have an experienced skydiver with me, with me here, Gene Newsom, and this is a tandem jump. He's going to help me on the way down. We wanted to give everybody a look at what it's like to skydive, jump out of an airplane at 10,000 feet, and show you how you can get into skydiving in just one day. I've got to leave right now, but we'll be back a little later in the newscast to show you uh, what our videotape looks like of the free fall. Let's go, Gene. Arch your body. Our long like fall this, okay? began with a That's short lesson on tandem skydiving at the Beaver Oaks Airport near Estacada. While parachute jumpers normally have hours of study and training to safely grasp this technical sport, it's possible for the novice to dive right in. The FAA regards tandem jumps as experimental. You'll sign a waiver that says so with you as the test jumper. Your tandem master will supply all the equipment and make sure it fits. They're snug. Uh, you want a little bit more snug. They're not the reason, more than snug. They're just, see? Yeah, the reason being is if they come off during free fall, you won't go see anything. You can show up wearing your own casual clothes, try on a rubber helmet, and find a comfortable jumpsuit. Then you're introduced to the harness. Since I wear no parachute for the jump, my life and safety are hanging by this harness, which straps me to tandem master Gene Newsom. I'll say number one, number two. Then I'll go number three and four. Once I get number three and four done, see all this tightening? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have you put your hands back, I'm gonna put your hand back, grab a hold of that, mm -hmm. and help me pull tight, all right? By now, you'll be feeling like this is really going to happen, that you're actually going to jump from an airplane at 10,000 feet. One more ground practice. From this position here, all I'm going to do is rock in and then rock out. And it's time for takeoff. The tandem jump costs $125. If you want to hire a video photographer to dive with you, that's another $40. $15 if you want still pictures. Jeff, Julie? OK, right now, my friends, you're looking at a live picture. There they are. Of Randy and Mr. Newsom coming down. That's live. We saw Randy jump out of the plane. Happy to say the chute did open. <laughs> and what a gorgeous day, Julie. Look at the colors of that chute now, and Randy. I, I understand it's supposed to take about seven minutes before he comes down and touches the ground. It looks like he's uh, about to uh, touch. I'm not sure how far up Randy is right now. There he is. Wow. And uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be checking back a little bit later. And, Randy, can you hear me? No, I guess he can't. Randy, can you hear me? He actually might be able to hear us, but I don't know if he can talk to us because he may have trouble with his microphone. Yeah. But needless to say, we're going to wait till he lands yeah. and regroups yeah. and find out what it was really like a little bit later in this newscast. Yeah, we'll show you because the next important part of that jump is when you land. So yeah. we, we'll show you that videotape when that happens. Our cameraman's staying right there and we'll show you that a little bit later in the newscast. I don't think I could do that. No, That's great. me neither. Hats well, especially off. now, but I mean, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't do it now, but I yeah, mean, Yeah, because you'd be time. jumping for free. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, there's big trade talk today in the Blazer camp. If you'd like to dive into some summertime thrills, consumer reporter Randy Ripplinger knows firsthand how to get them. Randy showed us earlier in this newscast he made his first skydive attempt 10,000 feet up. He's back on the ground now. Randy, would you and do it glad again? glad to be here. Yeah. And glad to be here. Do it again. Let me think about that tomorrow because I'll tell you what, it really, really was a wild ride. Uh, we went up with uh, the Western Sport Parachute Club and we really appreciate their ride up. But let me tell you something, if you've ever wanted a wild ride, you ought to do this, taking a step out of an airplane from 10,000 feet up, here's what it looks like. We took a step out and uh, first thing we did was fall right out of the plane and the uh, guy who was my uh, tandem master does a flip with me on his back. Here's the uh, video from... Uh, the uh, parachutist James Mim, who had a camera on his helmet, and once that chute opens, you feel pretty good. Uh, still sitting up about five or six thousand feet above the ground. 
making our way down. And it's really quite an experience coming down. That free fall lasted, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds. Then the chute opens and uh, we make our way back to the landing site. About now, it's feeling pretty good. And the landing was just oh so soft. Well, we really enjoyed that. And again, this is something you could try yourself if you want to get into it. It takes about 15, 20 minutes worth of orientation, about $125 or so to uh, get the jump if you make a, a reservation ahead of time. If you'd like the videotape, you can get a hold of James Mim through the uh, club here, and he'll do videotape for you for 40 bucks, $15 for still pictures. And let me tell you, it is not for the faint-hearted but it is really quite a thrilling experience. Jeff, Julie? Mm. Well, Randy, what was going through your mind? I know your wife was a little concerned, and you admitted <laughs> yourself that you were a little concerned. So what were you thinking, like, before you bailed out? I mean, you had time to say, I don't want to go, but I guess it's a little hard on live television. Well, I'll tell you what. No, no, I wanted to do it, but when you first leave the airplane, at that moment you say, wait a minute, do I really want to do this? But by then it's too late. He did a flip, and that was thrilling. I like that. And then comes the speed all the way down. And that's when it really grabs you. Okay. It was a lot of fun, though. Well, Thanks, Randy, Randy, good job. I don't Way think I could have done it. He'll be back tomorrow, though. Yeah, Randy's going to scuba dive tomorrow, so you might want to catch that. That's our news, everyone. Julie and I will remain on the ground, as we always <laughs> Forever. do. Forever. Yeah, take care. Back at 6.30 and 11. See you then.